in this section we will be discussing about the biogeography and in particular we will be talking about the zoo geography in the biogeography in the earlier section we were discussing about the paleontology and we discussed a lot of topics about the paleontology in that section in the biogeography we study the life in terms of geography the geography of earth geo means the earth graphy means to measure so uh, it's the field of science we measure the uh, earth it sees the surface of earth and it is related to the maps and cartography and different uh, parts of the world how they are situated from away from each other and the bio whenever it combines with the biology that means we see the distribution of living organisms on the surface of earth so biogeography is the study of distribution of species and ecosystem in the geographical space through geological time uh, we have discussed about the geological time in detail in the paleontology so that part we will be uh, uh, taking up a little bit but mostly we will be concerned with the geographical distribution in this course so biogeography uh, is the organisms and biological communities often vary in regular fashion along geographic uh, gradients of latitude elevation isolation and habitat area so if we see some part of the earth there are some organisms which are found in certain habitats in certain environments and they are not present in other environment for example if we talk about the uh, tropical rainforest there are a lot of organism which are present there cannot survive in the colder temperate areas or uh, the uh, towards the poles just like the tundra they cannot survive there so the biogeography is concerned with that that is geographical gradient of latitude so latitude means it increases the latitude increases as you go away from the uh, equator that means jise hum urdu mein khate astwa kehte hain wahan se jitna dur jayenge utni hi aapke geographical gradients honge utna hi aap ki life ki presence jo hai wo different hoti jayegi and then there is elevation satah samandar se koi organism kitna upar reh raha hai isolation islands hain Uh, or there are certain continents we have uh, seven continents and there are different distribution of organisms plants and animals in those continents and habitat area mukhtalif jandaron ke rehan sehan ki jaghein mukhtalif hain so that why is that and how the habitats are uh, arranged across the pole that uh, across the planet that is studied in the habitat area so all of these things are studied in the biogeography so the biogeography is an integrated field of inquiry that unites concepts and information from ecology ecology is where we discuss the interaction of living organism with the other living organism as well as the abiotic factor of the environment evolutionary biology how the different organism evolved in different areas that is part of evolutionary biology and geography as well geology the study of earth we find the different fossils in different places and uh, we can find the fossils in south america they are quite different uh, from the fossils that are found in the uh, different areas of asia but if we found a fossil which are found in africa they will be much more similar to the fossil found in the south america because both the continents were uh united in the past and that is part of geology so physical geography that how different parts of the earth how different continents uh, give rise to different species of the organism that is studied in the physical ge geography in terms of biogeography so you see that the biogeography is uniting all of these uh, subjects so modern uh, geography combines information and ideas from many field 
uh the physiological and ecological constraints on an uh, organized uh, organismal dispersal so uh, an organism cannot go beyond a certain temperature range uh, we know that the global warming is happening and that as a result the organism which were living in colder environments are now further being pushed towards the poles so that is physiological uh limitation of those organism and ecological constraints there are certain ecological constraints in which they are dependent on certain abiotic as well as biotic factor for example the tropical rainforest they depend on the a lot of rainfall and they are dependent on the a lot of uh, uh the light from the sun because they are present on the equator so they cannot be found uh, towards the pole so that are the ecological constraints of those organism and then there are the geological and climatological phenomena operating at global spatial scales and evolutionary time frame so this is another point of view in which we see that how the earth changes with the time and there are different climates on the earth in different times and all of these things they give right to uh, rise to some patterns in which the organism evolved and that is also discussed in the modern biogeography so it is the uh, species uh, this, uh, the biogeography is this pattern of species distribution across geographical areas can usually be explained through a combination of historical factors such as speciation extinction continental drift and glaciation so you see that first two are uh, these are dependent on the organisms the speciation making of new species extinction uh, the the loss of species the species go extinct they are not any more uh and continent continental drift is part of geology where the continents are drifting on the surface of earth they are first there was one large continent and then it split into different continents and glaciation that is again a climatological uh, factor which is the presence of a lot of ice on the surface of earth due to less temperatures so and then there is a new system which is called geographical in uh, geographic information system the, to predict the future trends and understand the factor affecting the organism distribution so we are uh, combining the organismal data with the uh, geography right so we pinpoint that one organism is living at particular place and we are uh, combining that data with the uh, information of the geography so often mathematical models and gis are employed to solve the ecological problem that have a special uh, aspect to them a special mean related to space and then there are the islands uh, uh, biogeography which we will be discussing in detail islands are also ideal locations because they allow scientists to look habitat that new invasive species have only recently colonized and can observe how they disperse throughout the island and change so we see that how the islands can change because they are miniature version of bio uh, biogeography and it helps us to understand that how biogeography works and then there is darwin uh, darwin recognized the importance of geographic lo locations and uh, he gave a comment in his journal that the zoology of uh, archipelagos will be well worth examination uh, which he eventually did and gave his theory on the uh, natural selection uh, the theory of evolution by natural selection and then he wrote two chapters on the origin in or on the origin of species that were devoted to geographical distribution of organisms so he wrote the book on the evolution and in that uh, book he uh, gave some ideas in two chapters about the geographical distribution so biogeography is in a way was an inspiration or it was the factor to determine the theory of evolution by the natural selection for the darwin with which which we will be discussing in detail as well and here you can see the schematic distribution of fossils on the pangaea according to wagner so here you can see the pangaea pangaea is the first mega continent that was present on the surface of earth um the south america and africa they were joined antarctica india they were also joined and also the Aust australia so you can see that the there are different fossils which you can see 
and all of these fossils have some connections for example the fossil of remains of cynogenathus they were present in africa and south america and both can be seen so it was also um, the fossils were the evidence for a pangaea for uh, this was the time when the fossils gave way an evidence to uh, say that the all the continents were the same uh, part of the same plate they were making a mega continent which is called pangaea and this was the diagram which was according to the wagner 